The old staple we were all raised on, that a healthy mind depends on a healthy body, is losing steam across the country. It turns out that only five states actually require physical education. So more and more schools are making PE optional, letting students skip gym class. But as David Wright reports, gym teachers are fighting back, saying that opt-out option makes no sense in the midst of an epidemic of obesity. For many of us, gym class conjures up memories of abuse and the smell of sweat socks. Who wouldn't want to opt out? Pop culture certainly recognizes that. Hello, Ms. Stoger, I have a note. And these days, not breaking a sweat is easier than ever. Only five states require physical education in every grade K through 12. At a time when the first lady is leading the fight against childhood obesity, gym teachers say the crisis goes beyond the cafeteria. 80 to 90 percent of all parents, teachers, and students believe that physical education should be available on a daily basis. What we need to do is create policy that allows that to happen. Schools do have a role to play in fighting childhood obesity, but phys ed teachers say it's not enough just to focus on nutrition. You also have to get children moving. In at least 22 states, students are now allowed to take their gym classes online. The laptop is replacing the locker room. Virtual sports teams can't be far behind. If you could take the class online, would you like that? Their physical education teacher doesn't blame them. It immediately conjures up, I can do this by my computer, right next to my Facebook account and my Twitter account, and they're thinking, so I can get out of working out. But it's his job oh, yeah, here we go. Ready? to One, motivate two, three, them anyway. Four, five, David Wright, ABC seven, News, eight, Van Nuys, nine, California. One.